Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my complete setup. Stay tuned, there's a lot of good things to see. So in here now we have the G6 Max gimbal and we also have the M50, the Canon M50 with a 15 to 45 lens. Let's open this up and see how it looks. which you can turn around and see yourself in the screen. There it is. Empty box. So, what you do just to show you that, there's the Canon M50. There it is. Here it is, the G6 Max. So there's there's them two things. So they, that's gonna go really good together. Also to go with that, we need a memory card. So we went for an SD memory card. I did transfer speeds of 90 megabytes per second. It's always good if you've got a good camera to make sure you can record them speeds and get the best of the camera. I went was 128 gigabytes. So that will also go in my setup there. And there's put that up there. And then to on top of the camera, I did I got myself a microphone. I did. And for the microphone, I looked at a couple of reviews online and decided for my setup that I would go for the Video Pro Plus version of this microphone. Advantages of that was it turns itself on with your camera and off with your camera, and the battery is meant to be so much better. So, there's that, that will go on top of the camera. I just want to say with this, this, this gimbal by you can do iPhones, can do GoPros, can do mirrorless cameras. So, it's, a, it's an all in one package of this. So, whatever you're filming on, whatever you want to do, that can do it. It charges via USB C point and it has a nine hour battery. You can plug in other phones, but that would then reduce the battery life. So I think a 9 hour battery is pretty good on that. Um, I've ordered myself some more batteries for my Canon camera because I do believe the battery isn't as good on that. That's one of the things. It's a smaller battery because it's a mirrorless camera and stuff. And I've got this for you. And to go with my microphone for when it's windy outside. I got myself the funny name of the dead cat to go on top, I did, which will reduce the noise when I'm outside. Right, I just wanted to go through a couple of things. I looked at a couple of Canon cameras, which seemed to come up the best, and the reason why I went with the uh, M50 was literally because um, I did look at the G7X Mark II and Mark III, but both of them, one, the Mark II you couldn't plug an external mic into, and then the Mark III had problems with focusing and overheating problems. Um, I've not been sent any of this stuff I've purchased on myself. This is a new channel, so please, if you do like, please subscribe, give the thumbs up, and uh, comment down below. Be greatly appreciated. I'm, I'm still learning myself on what is good or not. 
Um, I thought I'm going to be filming outside. I live close to the beach, which I will show you. Um, I thought that definitely having the wind protector might make the video better. I went with SanDisk because they're one of the best known for micro cards, and I wanted to make sure that my footage is captured as best as possible. And I went with the G6 Max because I'm using the G6 gimbal at the moment for my GoPro Hero 7 Black, which I'm filming this on now. And it's a lovely camera, it's done me well, but I just thought I needed the next step up. So, without further ado, let's open up the box and let's see what the camera looks like itself. So, when we open the box. There we go, that opens up like that. So in the box, there's the mains adapter. There's the manual. Here's the cannon strap. Uh, I believe this is this is the charging dock for the battery station. Oh no, it isn't. No, this is the lens. Sorry. And once again, I said this lens is a 15 to 45 lens. It is. Came with the camera. I'll be interested to see how that looks. I will do a video in the next couple of days. There's the battery for this camera. And before we open this, and there's the battery charger. Here it is. So. So use the, the camera, the M50. Like I said, it does come with a screen that can fold out and then rotates. So you can vlog on it pretty easily. And you can also fold it back in. And if you just want to use this, the screen, you do have a viewfinder. And then you've got the mount for mounting external mics and lights. There it is. And it's just something I thought that spending the time investing, I can't tell you how light it is and how small it is as well which is going to be good because you know you don't want to always be walking in the park with something that's massive so uh yeah i'm, I'm really quite impressed how small it is i i did expect it to be quite bigger and chunkier but that no that's really good that is and stuff um take a minute let's have a look at this gimbal then and stuff I will once I've used them for a couple of weeks and a couple of days to get used to them. I'll come back to you guys and I'll um, give you an update on how I found them in and stuff. And stuff. But um, yeah, so it comes in a box. Um, it did. It's nothing um, overly, you know, it's more just a foam box. And um, yeah, basically, I just showed you like that. It comes compact. Um, that's the stand. Um, this screws on the bottom, and you can use a tripod. You can um, there's the gimbal, which is a lot more better, and than the one I've I've got at the moment. And I'm just really excited, sort of, to have this sort of stuff. Is and then in here, I believe, will be the charging ports, the wires. That's the mount for the GoPro. That's a little bracket, so you can put your smartphone, like I said, your iPhone, and it ex extracts to go around your iPhone. And if I was just to show you that now, so there's your iPhone, put that up there. And then it goes easily over it and then that would just screw in on top and then you could easily use your iphone on top of the gimbal so it doesn't only have to be this has got multiple uses it'll protect you you know for the future it's got a payload of 1.2 kilograms and i just thought myself it was well worth investing you get loads of adapter adapters like i said you can charge your iphone for argument's sake when it was attached to this but that would obviously decrease the battery life of this. And 
it's got a nine hour battery life by itself, which is plenty enough for the days for me and I would imagine and stuff. Um, the microphone video, like I said, it's got a rechargeable battery in this mic, but you can also put AA batteries in it as well. You can. So, um, yeah, I will get used to all this. I'll set it all up and then I'll get back to you with how I find a thing in a video coming up shortly. Thank you for viewing. I'll see you soon.